got off work and it's raining it's a raining raining day it's gonna be a lazy day today i already feel it they say it's supposed to rain all day and i think the rain is coming from louisiana because so i think they had like a real bad tornado and uh prayers go out to all the people that uh, lost their houses and lost their life in that tornado man that's that's a catastrophic thing man that's man that's crazy the way how mother nature can just take and sweep away things in your life that you are, you know, saying trying to survive on this earth, man. It's like, why do we have these things? Matter of fact, why do we even have tornadoes? What's the point of a tornado? What's the point of having thunderstorms? You know what I'm saying? I never understood that, but yeah, prayers go out to, you know, the victims of the tornado. I think it was in Louisiana, but I'm pretty, pretty sure you guys know about the tornado that hit though. But, uh, man, it's just, it just seems like everything you in, in Louisiana just uh happens all the time out there. So Yep, I'm up. Um I know it's gonna be a muggy day, so I haven't been up that long. Matter of fact, I ain't even been asleep. I don't know why I even talking about not being up. Cause I got off work at um seven o'clock and got home by seven twenty and doing this little videos and other things for the vlogs for you guys to watch and stuff like that because um right now y'all this is day 16 you know what i'm saying and uh, like i said y'all i'm gonna go um i was gonna go see uh avatar me and uh glam was gonna go see it i told myself i said you know what it's just best to you know since i work off for the four days and you know to keep my body from going and going and going i just want to relax and watch a movie so woman king comes out on 4k so i'm gonna go buy that so we can chill and have movie night in the man cave and all that and just chill so i'm pretty pretty sure the avatar movie is going to be like the same one the first one blue people jumping around with spears swimming in water you know what i'm saying but yes and um i call this the carol and becky uh Black Panther movie. <laughs> oh man. So I don't know. Who knows? But we just have to follow the way the day goes. Real raw and uncut. Because we got about um two weeks until Christmas. Next weekend. It's here. It's here. It's here. Here goes the, the tree right there lit up in the morning time, as you guys already know. This tree is actually, uh, it's actually cute though. I think Glam got it on sale on clearance for like $30 when Christmas was over. And I was asking her, was she going to put it up this year? So I ended up putting it up because I don't know if she wanted to put up the green tree, but I was like, we need something different. So we got this, the tree right here. I already named her. Her name is Skinny Bitch. So. Loving the white light, how it's all infused into the tree right there. We got a couple little presents there and there, but they about to grow pretty, pretty soon in a couple days and all that real raw and uncut. You guys already know. I'm still trying to learn this um, iPhone with all this zooming in stuff. It's pretty, pretty cool, though. Y'all watch CSI. Y'all let me know. So, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Oh, we back out here in the trenches. Um... You were saying something about them leaves yesterday, last night? No, I thought they were too far out in the road, but I think the rain, I don't know. Oh, well, the rain's going to shrink them down. But yeah, what's up, y'all? What's going on? As you guys already know, that I ended up coming outside 
Once again, the glam monster got me out in the rain in the trenches. She I over here. Where to go? Tell them what's up. They ain't seen you. What's up, y'all? Yes, I know you guys always be asking about her. Y'all be wanting to see her in the videos. I don't know why she be trying to act all. I'm here. Um, what they call that? Uh, introverting. I am <laughs> introverting. Whatever you call it. I am an introvert. Um, but I'm here, y'all. Yes. Miss Glenn. She is here. Coco. I she am is here. here. Coco, watch that car, boo, dang. I, there was a car right there. What are you but you about? almost hit that blue car. Greg, I'm, see, this is why I don't like being in the car. No, you. Clearly. Oh, I, 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 next time, no next time, next time, when, 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 when something comes your way, I didn't told you. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'll be trying to tell you stuff you don't want to listen. Great, clearly I'm driving. I seen the blue car. What are you, you talking about? I was daughter? I was trying to support you. I, I'm trying to watch where I'm driving. But that car, you had to pull over. Then you almost because was close no, to that blue car. Did you see the? Uh, Anyways, truck? though. Did you see? First of all, did you see the truck? Ta ta. The big truck. I saw the big truck. So I pulled over and saw the. But truck. also, I was telling you to watch the blue car. Oh you can't never win, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> no, because he just be talking. But yeah, so um, anyhow, it's supposed it's it's supposed to be raining all day, so it is gonna be raining all day. And I felt like that um, I felt like that I slept a long time, but I think I slept around. I think I fell asleep around what ten o'clock. One time I wake up by twelve. I thought you hoes was looking for me. Here yeah. I go. Oh Here yeah. Y'all tell me the situation about the um. The gunner and and young thug is it young thug? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah the, the the gunner. I don't know the young thug and stuff going on with the YSL gang shit, the murders and everything. Everybody saying that gunner and snitched and all that. Gang, gang, baby. And he probably did. That's probably why he got all the years taken off. Cause he got he was sentenced to five years, but he only has to do one in prison and then um, four community service. So would you snitch? What I snitch on what? Well, I don't know the whole situation. Apparently, they apparently that there's you know word going out there saying YSL whatever they're a gang. I ain't they, no snitch. They've no. been out here killing people, mm -hmm. drug racketeering and all that, and mm -hmm. and and Gunna and and Young Thug and mm -hmm. Run Thug, whatever their name is. I don't listen to their music. Um, saying that YSL is not a gang group; it's a music music label group or something like that. So apparently, it's like this. I'm gonna tell you guys we're on a cut. The feds don't pick you up for no reason, not unless they got some shit up on you. The feds is not gonna waste their time. They're gonna build their case. They're gonna, you know, bring up all the evidence and boom, and that's when they gonna get you. Right. Now, as far as being a snitch though, if you know that you have been a part of something, ride or die with the homeboys, ride or die with your friends, any part of the shit, you get caught up and your um, homeboys in jail too and all that. You can't be out here snitching and telling on everybody and all they type of goddamn mamas and dramas and boot yeah, claps and, and, and boop boop just for you to try to get out and you want to snitch on everybody. Because it don't work like that. You a rat. You, you, I mean, you might as well be owning up, manning up, right along with your boys and ride that shit out. I mean, it's your fault because a lot of these people want to be in the streets and be all this thug thug shit. And then when some shit go down, they want to be crying and shit. You know, I'm just saying. It's your fault. It's not nobody else's fault that you run these motherfucking streets. And another thing, too, is like, how are you a celebrity of music or a celebrity on top of that? And you want to be in the wrong crowds and you want to be out here doing dumb shit still. Like, come on now. Like, that is your one time in life because being famous, being anytime whatever you got going on that shit can end tomorrow that's why shit like that you gotta take that shit and run with it and build your own empire and live and and branch off and build shit you know say save your dough open companies for your own business don't be out here hanging around people that's not gonna bring you up you know what I'm saying but you know our culture we want to sit right there and I don't know it's just weird it's just weird we you know what I'm saying it's weird. Like if it was me, like I understand that you got friends and shit, but sometimes you gotta back away from this shit and do your own thing. You're like, you're gonna have people that's gonna get mad and saying you went bougie on them and shit and saying you ain't talking to them no more. I mean, you could talk to them, but 
sometimes you got to change your lane in life with that shit because like I said, you got people that's going to get jealous and want to kill you and shit because you're up at the top and they're not, you know, and people get jealous of that because they don't want to work. They don't want to grind and get to where you was at. And then you got some people in your circle that you that you still support all you can try to hold them down, help them get them on their feet, give them money and shit. They still ain't satisfied and still want to talk behind your back and kill you. Why so, does Clark get that old crusty butt over here and going? What? Be careful. I am. We got this rain out here, and I'm not trying to swig, swell and swirl. <laughs> it end up in a damn tree. Because you a hard driver. No, if you in the fast lane, go fast. Get if I'm in the fast lane, I ain't going fast. I'm driving the speed limit. Then you going to get rammed. <laughs> Y'all, they don't like driving with me because they said I go, I go to speed limit. They, they be saying I be driving like a granny granddaddy. Driving Miss Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy. That's what it is. But anyways, y'all, today I was supposed to go out. Um, what's name? Tuesday. Tuesday? What's say Tuesday? Today's Thursday. I was supposed to go out Tuesday and go pick my stuff up, but I didn't feel like it though. I did not feel like it. Well, today I'm out here. Um, we was gonna go see um, them blue people, the avatars. But I told myself, I said, you know what? Me and Glenn, we could stay home and have a movie night instead. Because the blue people, yes, you know, it's Avatar, but um, it's going to be like the same movie. You know, blue people running around, looking like blue geckos and all that, running around in water. Like I said, y'all, I call that the um, the Bob and Carrie, Karen and Dylan's Black Panther movie. <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying? <laughs> That's day movie. That's day Black Panther. <laughs> How about the White Panther? That's what they should have called it, the White Panther. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, y'all. We got 10 days. We got 10 days until Christmas? 10 days. And then we got five more days until year 2023. So, basically, I mean, this year been okay. It's better than the last year before, right? Not, it, it wasn't better than the years Trump was in office. And I heard his ass trying to come back. They say uh, Kanye West trying to run. Shit. Trump might come back. You never know. I Ain't nobody else stepped up to the plate. Now, I always say to myself, y'all, it's like, why why don't we never seen, see a younger generation run for president? Like, like somebody in their 30s or something. Somebody in their 40s. It's always got to be these old, crusty motherfuckers out here on their last deathbed trying to run to be president and shit. And then we already got a president, Joe Biden. Is it Joe Biden? Did I get his name right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he be all senile on stage with dementia and shit and be blinking out whatever going on with him. I'm like, dude, what's going on with him? You got a sprinkle of Alzheimer's going on. Like, I don't, is, is bro going to last another four years? I mean, damn. I mean, it, you know, the world's been mellow ever since Trump been out the office. But a lot of people do miss Trump, though, for his entertainment, though, because he be talking some shit, though. But I didn't approve his, you know, president presidency. But it was just... When they took him off Twitter, Twitter went, Twitter went, Twitter went bo boring. The internet went boring without Trump. Trump was the 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 king of drama on Twitch and, 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 and the internet talking shit, you know? And I believe Kanye was trying to be like him. <laughs> but his version start up a lot of drama and some shit, though. But I don't know, y'all. But I let Kanye West do his thing. But, you know, I think half the time he do be telling the truth and people don't want to believe it. So when things happen like that, when people try to tell their truth, people want to start calling people crazy. We all got some kind of crazy. We all got some kind of disability in us and shit. So nobody out here is perfect. Ain't that right? Yeah. Real raw not cut, so. I um, think I'm going to go. I think we're going to go to big RBG lights. From a man cave since my shit didn't burn the fuck down well not burnt down well went out so hopefully i can oh see a lot of cool stuff here yeah okay they got some rbg lights for a playstation 5 as you guys can see right here hmm but I ain't got time opening my PS5, putting this shit up in there. So I just want like something I can display in a corner of a wall or something like that. Stuff here, right here. 
black light USB strip. But this looks cool though right here. And it's only five dollars. Hmm. Maybe I can use this to put right next to my PlayStation and Xbox or something like that. So I'm looking at that right there. Oops. I didn't drop it. So that for five dollars. We may get that. So I don't know. This is the light I had right here that went out on me. This was a really, really good light. It just went out. I was mad though. It was blinking and shit. So I'm gonna find something else though. I wanna change up the scenery of things. Probably be cool if I get two of these and set them side by side. Then they have, ooh, what is this? Sparrow light. Nah, I don't want that shit. Don't want it, don't want it, don't want it. Huh. Wow. These look cool right here. I can hang these along the wall. Let me see. Huh. The USB power. Really, I'm gonna have to go on Amazon to find me RBG lighting. Cause I seen, well they got one, but I saw a better one where you can use your phone app to control one instead of USB. Oh, uh, maybe so, the other one. Did yeah. you get from this one or the other one? What? No, I got the same light that I got before that burnt out. It's over there, but I figured I'm just gonna get one off Amazon. Oh. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna get me one of these though. Think that look good? Yeah, guess so. So that way when I'm doing my vlogging, instead of holding my phone, I can just use this. Yeah, it's not um, strong enough. I don't know. I was going to have you go over there and go look. Maybe you could see a better one or something like that. But yeah, so. Got me this instead, y'all. Huh? But uh, yeah, y'all. So, like I said, we in five below. A little cheap, little gadgety stuff here. As you guys can see. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get an RBG light for another one to replace in my man cave. Yo, y'all see this here? They got a lot of stuff over here that you guys can use for streaming. If you guys wanna stream, I'm telling you, five below. Look at that right there. And I just got this right here. So I can use it with my phone. Cause every time I be trying to live stream or, well not live stream, we'll do a video. My phone be tipping over when I be trying to do my unboxing and stuff when I don't wanna use my other camera or something for a quick video. This is cool right here. And it's got an LED light at the top. But yeah, so they got all the old school candy here that I used to get. These are the type of candies they used to sell in my 90s back in the day in 7-Eleven that I used to always run and go get. Something like this. Y'all, these new kids don't know nothing about these uh, these chew bubblegum packs right here. So I used to eat a lot of those in 7-Eleven. So we didn't have these uh, Sour Patch Kids and Mike and Ike's and all that back in our day and stuff. Yeah, they got a they got a lot of little knickknack candies here and there. So this looks cool right here. What are these? All oh, these are pop rock candies. Huh. But um I don't need no more candy. Definitely don't. Definitely, definitely don't. Liking that worm. It is gummy cola. But who would eat that shit? I don't know who would eat that. That would have your stomach bubbling. Aw, cool. Got some Nintendo Power Controller things right here. Huh. These are mints. Gamers do not eat no fucking mints. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> Got some candy Dragon Ball Z things right here. Your mini mystery figure. Something. Right here. Looks pretty nice. Pretty, pretty cool. Yep, y'all. So let me go pay for this stuff and get up out of here and go to this other store and see what's going on. We're all not cut. So, like I said, I got the streaming selfie kit right there for my videos that I'm gonna be doing in my man cave. Got this right here. Well, y'all, at least I came out of the store and found me something. Found me something, something, something. Cause I was actually gonna be coming here anyways to take you guys right along with me to do a. Big Lots. Why well, I keep saying Big Lots? 
five below vlog because I needed a new RBG lighting. I already have one at the house. It's it's a big strip bar, but I don't want to put that up right now. I wanted to put it up next year because I want to move and get a bigger, bigger, bigger room with a bigger man cave. You know, to have more space. This one that I had, my RBG light that I already had burnt out, sit in the corner of my room and I left it on just to have a decorational room of spark ups. You guys get what I'm saying? But yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, coming along with me out in this trenches, muggy day, gray day out here, going into this home scent store that Glam is at. Oh, I don't, these, these stores is like TJ Maxx. These little rinky dink, little corny little stores. <laughs> My pants keep falling off. So yeah. We had like day 16 in the blogs. You guys get what I'm saying? Day 16. Yep, yep, yep. And uh oh wow, they got crumble coming. <gasps> right there, baby. Yeah, coming soon. Y'all need to go try these cookies. They some big ass cookies. Every week they come out with new cookies. Look at that. Coming soon, Crumble. Check them out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also TikTok as well. Oh yeah, and by the way, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. Big Bear the Bell. Okay, y'all. I'm in a store called Home Sense. Never been in this store. But um, Glam was actually happy about this store. I got a bunch of stuff up in here. And I don't know what I'm going to find in this store. Maybe someday when I get a bigger man cave, I can find some good pictures and furniture to put up in here. But I don't know where she at. Let's see. Let's go down here. Cool little womanly stuff right here. Not for me, though. <laughs> Something's in here, though, for me. Home sense. But as you guys can see, this is not my type of stove. But I'm in here anyways. A lot of cool stuff in here though. Saw Christmassy up in here. Oh, I'm surprised you ain't come up in here. They got a lot of um, bulbs and stuff for your tree. Oh, yeah. Don't y'all find these astounding and pretty? These like some dang bulbs that look like they was on the Titanic and stuff. These old people stuff. Oh, nice. Those like old people stuff for old people trees, senior citizen stuff. You talk about old people. You it do. You buy <laughs> It do though. Like who buys teapots, kettle pots? <laughs> I'm just saying. I drink tea, but I ain't gonna buy no kettle pot though. Who who buy stuff like this? Hey, y'all see how she do me? She talking about she want to do a YouTube channel, be vlogging, and she she get ghost on her, bro. She get ghost. You can't get ghost. You can't be shy when you do these videos. Now I'm just playing, y'all. We uh think about doing a new channel though. So we're just me and her talking that shit up on there. Just being funny, just being us. You guys get what I'm saying? But yeah, that's how we gonna do it. You know. People up here looking at me like I'm a celebrity. Yeah, boy, I'm Big Bear Bro, aka Straight Reviews. You better get it right. So this looks good right here for some game collections see this right here see this i can buy this right here let's zoom it out and show you guys hmm how you doing so there is uh something useful in this store switch games can go on here and it comes in twos i gotta take a picture of these because i may want these i may get like four of them stacked one on top and put the switch games going up in there and get rid of that cabinet that I have in my room already. I have to figure it out though. See, that's what I get for this in this store called Home Sense and I'm finding stuff up in here already that I can have in my man cave that I need to rearrange some shit up in here, baby. Yeah. So let me go find this daggone woman up in here. Back home, y'all ready to show you guys these great goodies of what I picked up and uh, go across the rest of the day watching some Woman King. And see what this movie's all about. We was trying to watch it, but um, we tried to watch it through Firestick, but it was coming in fuzzy, and, and we missed out going to the movies to go see it. But we about to see what Viola Davis is going to do in this movie, y'all. All right, y'all. What is up? What is up? What is up? 
let me straighten up this day on phone, baby. So anyways, y'all, I returned back from my nice outing to Five Below. Went to Best Buy, as you guys can see right here, and picked up my stuff. Went to a store that opened around the town called um, Home Sense. Even though I went up in there and dissed that little store, but there was some pretty, pretty cool stuff in there that was pretty cool that I could put in this man cave. Maybe one day, but it's too crowded right about now. I saw a little figure here in there that I wanted, but I didn't know I was going to put them. I could have I could have put them right here by the computer. He was only like $9, but I don't need no more, though, so... I had to pass this little butt up. I took a picture of him just in case I could find him later on down the line. But yeah, y'all, so uh, we got this uh, horror movie called Smile. Now, I, I was checking out the trailer of that. Game Boss, let me know what you think about this movie. I'm pretty, pretty sure you already seen it. So let me know if it's really, really good. It says um, the terrifying original short film that started it all is included in here. So I don't know what about a smile is going to be making everybody have a horror freak killing session up in there. Whatever it may be. Then I finally get to watch right here, Woman King, for the movie night in the man cave. Real raw and uncut. Movie chilling night. As you guys already know, never seen it based on true events right here. Um, like I said, I could have watched it on Fire Stick. But normally I tend to not really go to the movies because I like to wait for them to come out on Blu-ray and 4K so I can actually just sit at home and uh, watch them and stuff like that. I, you know, like to wait out on my anticipation and stuff. Then we picked up the Final Fantasy Crisis Core right there. This is the pre, actually the prequel to Final Fantasy VII. So we got the remake right here. I think it's a remaster or it's, it's a remaster. No, it's a remake because the old school one looks way old school from the PSP days. I think it came out on PSP. But yeah, so we're about to do an unboxing of that on the channel right there so you guys make sure you guys uh check out my unboxing of the final fantasy right there reunion right there as you guys already know then i picked up a tripod which i could use right here because i have to prop my phone up as you guys already know is that i'm having trouble keeping my phone already propped up but hey at least it comes with a light so let me open it up and see what we got going up in here and like i said i got it at five below and hopefully it lasts a lot longer because things at five below don't even last too long. Look, I didn't rip the box. Okay, cool. And I don't see any instructions indicating um, it runs. It says it runs off an of app or something like that. I think it charges up. So we're going to have to see. Maybe the light charges up. Hopefully I don't have to use a damn battery. But we have to see because, like I said, ain't no... Ain't no Instruction manuals in here. It says um includes one selfie stick. Um compatible with oh shit. Compatible with iOS. They probably come on now. You're talking about this little damn ass cord. So I have to have this little cord hooked into this thing in order to use the the uh the light. That's gonna be kind of whack. I hope not. So but it's still good for me to use to have propped up, but as you guys already can tell, so looks pretty, pretty cool. Open it. And I have to find where to put the RBG lighting. I mean, the um, USB. Oh, here it go. Right there. Huh. That takes a can right, right here. I don't know what this does. It does something, but we're gonna figure it out later on though. Like I said, I'm trying to I want this light to work. It's got them cheap LEDs in there. Ones that like pretty much work for a very, very long time, but it is what it is though. Oh, oh, it is compatible. It's Bluetooth. There we go. See it reading? That's Bluetooth right there. Oh, that's gonna be nice. So let me turn that off. Have to check it out after this vlog is over with. And like I said, y'all, thank y'all. And make sure you guys go pick up your great goodies. And like that. And rate, comment, subscribe to this vlog, baby. And we're going to have more after Vlogmas is over. Real raw and uncut out there. Love Christmas, Christmas, Christmas here, each year.
reaching 